Hey going everyone and welcome to this tutorial of Factorio Space Age. In this tutorial I'll show you the best way of to maximize the efficiency of your spaceships and how you can actually get the best outcome to travel to every planet that you want. Now you will need to pay attention to a lot of things. I will start with the space. Um, so the larger, the heavier, which means you'll need more engines. The more engines you do, the faster you go, which means you will need to set more defense. Now, there is a different type of asteroids. Then um, there is a larger, there is a smaller, there is a huge. Um, each one has a different type of resistance. You can jump on the site that, to check them. I myself go with target priorities and ignore the unspecified or unlisted. This way you can always do the small ones and the medium ones with the, the normal machine guns and you can use a different type based on each category of those astronauts. Now, I follow this method. I don't know if someone else did it. I use the ring. So basically, all the astronauts there, I do it in a ring. So they travel all around the spaceship. This way, this uh, materials and the items, they are always available to be used. And I use always to go in to the cabinet, then out. Um, this way, I can always keep a certain number using the uh, circuit connections into the cabinet. So as you can see here, this will only work if there is a 50 or less. So go in and out, you can change that number based on the way you want. The purpose of doing that, you can always set this to throw the rest away. This way you will always have that specific items, if it's available, on your spaceship and also it doesn't get jammed and uh, you will have them always to be crafted. Now, what do you also need to do as well? Those that could change your items into a different type. This, when you do it, and if one of the items, there, it's a huge amount, since you're going to travel to Apollo, and you will always have ice. Those uh, old, like the the white one, they will turn to ice. You will always have enough to craft the desired material. As you can see, I have here that to get rid of, but looks like it's not enough because I have a huge ring, and this ring is always like almost full. Um, so I will probably add another one, I connect it as well, under the same condition, 50 or more, throw them away, less than 50, keep going. Now with that method you will need to have a big storage, and with that big storage you can always cover that 150 of them for now, until you travel and get the 200 of them with the, the fourth type. Now, what are you going to need to do as well? With that big space, with that big spaceship as well, you will need to have a good amount of ammo generation. You will need to have the specific type that you are using. So for me, I have requested all the rockets. At the moment, I'll get rid of this. The ship is not finalized. 
uh, will get rid of all the rockets that to help me to build this um, this defense the real gun um, later on once I finish this I will um, fill it completely with all around real guns and that's it that's all the defense set I have uh, more um, engines to set but I haven't set them yet because the speed will turn it into really hard to defend now let's have a look what I'm requesting here I will probably need some um, those that's 1000 so I'll get like 10 10,000 do I have enough space? See, I have a lot of space. Uh, look at all of those blue circuits. Yep. Now, the best way to do that, so for early stage, you can do it manually. You add the station, but then later on, you do all of them when conditions full, or mainly, I would encourage you to do when uh, item count then do the ammo that type that you use so if i go with that so do not travel unless this at the moment i have four thousand but you make you measure the trip based on the damage upgrade that you have done um and that type of damage then you measure it based on that make sure you don't travel from that planet unless you have enough that's one. The other part is have every planet to drop off and pick up. This way you will always have what you need. So that is a wrong planet. So obviously I don't have glipper. I will need to make a glipper. So you could just add section, rename it. Um, I usually like to have that specific uh, spaceship name just because um, those those uh, and I have the icon those like stash or the tabs that is to shareable between the ships I usually don't use the same tabs just because um, they have a different type of defense and they have a different type of pickup. They have a different type of purpose is what they need to do. Um, in saying so, you can't just share the same. And if you amend one of them, that will amend the other. So, like, probably it's the best to keep it that way. Now, we can delete that. And... You can actually adjust as well the drop off and the pickup in the same plan. Um, I wouldn't need that. Right now, let's have a look. So we we have the metallic, we have the oxide. Now let's have a look here. Um, this is extra. I'll get rid of actually now. Because I was just using to copy and paste. It's extra. So I have the metallic. I have, do I have the one with the carbon? Not yet. So you see those. Those is on and off, on and off, which is okay. So it will be over 50 as soon as this build is full so always in and out then through the extra and you'll need to connect it obviously with the with those uh, power poles and everything connected so make sure when you build you take the minimum possible for the storage so you don't do it that way and all around you just do half of it then everything else is exit away um, then the rest you can use the convertible this way you can use the actual storage to do everything 
since you can't build any other type of storage here this way you can store those items also do that with the storage use the use it for the ammo as well any ammo type in and out as well so they do everything there they all go in then out merge it to the ring so you will always have ammo on the ring to be picked up and you always have ammo in the storage unless you have less material to craft than what you actually use or slow production then you will work on that now one good thing as well that we can store the liquid um, this way you can keep the storage of the obviously the engine stuff and water and also this for the energy use that directly if you can see the power fusion so this is the biggest thing ever that you want on your ship as soon as you unlock the power fusion you do that because you can't travel into the further planets without the power fusion and you can actually convert it on the ship back to the the cold uh, the cold material that's needed um, directly here and again you can always have the barrels here with it those barrels just set a condition so you don't have to um, jam anything so once you set a condition that work under specific condition to do more so I put anything less than 10k you do more easy and you can always as well set one more do the opposite to fill with anything over like let's say 20 then you can actually uh, fill the barrels here make sure you have always empty barrels as well um, to do so now once you have done all of that start traveling around then you will collect more materials then you can actually increase the quali uh, quality of those once you have increased the quality then you can keep traveling more the more you travel the more you increase the quality because you will be collecting all those and you drop it to quello um, that's all for this video if you have uh, any tricks and tips please write it in the comments so others can understand more and we can share more um, if you like the video please subscribe in the channel and i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you all for watching